The human body is an amazing machine, capable of so many things. But as we study physical and mental health, we must also focus on our social health. Social health, often called social wellness, refers to the way you form positive and healthy relationships within your community. In this current age of social media and advanced technology, social wellness is more important than ever. We must be intentional about building sincere, healthy connections with other people in all aspects of our lives. Let's take a look at a few scenarios and see if you can figure out what these people all have in common. Jesse sees a group of kids bullying a child he asks the boy to play. Chandler's neighbors invited him to play, but now they are all on their cell phones. Chandler decides to talk to a boy who isn't looking at a device. Taylor's grandparents are visiting. Although he enjoys spending quiet time in his room, he has multiple games ready so they can spend time together. Alex notices someone sitting alone. She decides to sit with her and make a new friend. So, were you able to figure out what all these people have in common? They were all exhibiting healthy social habits, even though there may have been unhealthy habits surrounding them. There are many elements of social wellness, and we'll be talking about some of the most important ones today. To be socially healthy, you must treat people with kindness. It's nearly impossible to connect with people and form worthwhile relationships if you are not kind and respectful toward others. Try striking up a friendly conversation with someone who seems to be lonely or sad. When you're around family or friends, do your best to be mentally present with them by participating in conversations and activities. One of the easiest ways to determine whether you're being respectful is to ask yourself how you would feel if someone spoke or acted toward you in the same manner. I'm sure you've heard the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you keep that rule in mind, you will be well on your way to achieving another healthy social habit, developing meaningful relationships. One definition of the word social has to do with living in a community and interacting with other people. There are many types of relationships you may encounter in your lifetime. Family relationships, friendships, relationships with teachers and coaches, and so many more. It's important to understand how to interact well with all of these types of people so that your relationships will flourish. In order to maintain healthy relationships, it is vital that you learn to communicate clearly. Communication includes speaking, listening, body language, and facial expressions. Be polite and speak as clearly as you can. Look at people when you are talking to them and when they are talking to you. Listen closely to what people are saying. This leads us to another important aspect of social health, establishing and respecting personal boundaries. Personal boundaries are the rules you set for yourself to keep your mind and body safe and healthy. For example, if you don't have enough time to relax, set a boundary so you have more time to regroup mentally and physically. You might keep Saturday morning free without any appointments or classes so that you can rest and recharge. You should also listen when other people tell you they don't have the time, the resources, or the mental space to do something you've asked of them. Learn to accept no and respect that they are trying to do what is healthiest for them and their families. Respect other people's boundaries with kindness. Why is it so important to practice good social habits, like setting boundaries, communicating well, and forming connections? Scientists have found that strong, positive relationships can affect your physical and mental health. 
it's important to maintain a good balance of caring for yourself and taking part in social experiences with other people. Some studies show that healthy social connections may even contribute to a longer life. Social wellness is one way we can support the amazing machine that is our body.